What is going on guys? It is Patrick back on a Veterans View and today I was going to kind of start my uh, my new series pretty much tracking everything that's going on in 2021 in terms of what I'm doing financially to better myself, uh, what I'm doing for my physical health, mental health, what I'm doing for my kids health, uh, marital health, and and just not only talk about what I'm doing, but I'm also going to be showing what I'm doing. Um, pretty much toward the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to compile, you know, my financial stuff that I did over the last couple days since the start of the new year. Um, what I've been eating the last couple days since the start of the new year. And I've also got a chart that I made that pretty much shows my weight loss goals and, and it's going to track all the data and all the metrics that I'm looking for. Um, what we did for our kiddos and uh, really just kind of show that, you know, even if you're just making small incremental changes every single day, after a month, two months, three months, those incremental changes actually add up to be a substantial amount of money. Um, if you just kind of want to think about it, you know, there are a lot of people who get a Starbucks coffee every day. Say it's five bucks. That five, that five dollars at the time you are purchasing that drink doesn't sound like a lot of money. But that five dollars times, let's say, 30 days out of the month, that's $150. You have by two months, that's $300. Three months, $450. So it can add up very quickly and I just kind of feel like that's really what we need to be focusing on this year small positive incremental changes that we make in our lives and that can really you know take us pretty far so you know mine's been a little slow since the start of the new year in terms of changes only because uh, my middle daughter who's eight uh, Christmas Eve, she was riding her scooter, fell, and she fractured her wrist. So this morning, uh, we had an appointment with um, orthopedist, and she did just have a splint on that they had put in the ER, um, but she ended up actually getting a cast on this morning. So I'm going to also include a picture of that. And, uh, but really this, these are going to be going out, um, every couple days. So pretty much every two days, I'm going to be posting the last two days progress. And like I said, it doesn't have to be anything major, but these small changes repeated day after day after day add up to a substantial amount of change. And, you know, I hope you guys will enjoy um, I hope this will kind of resonate with some of you and, uh, you know, make it so that you guys can start doing the same thing, making these small changes every day, saving a couple dollars here, saving a couple dollars there, or, you know, if, if you're using credit cards, you know, at least paying your um, interest bearing portion of your credit card off so that you are not paying interest on your credit card balance, even if... You know, I'm not going to come on here and try and stress that everybody needs to pay their credit card off every single month. That would be phenomenal, um, but I feel like for the average person, that's just not possible, especially right now, given the pandemic. So even if you can just, I mean, if you can make those interest payments um, or those interest bearing payments so that you are not paying interest on your purchases, that is still a victory. Um, for anybody who set out weight loss goals, you know what, if you set out to lose two pounds a, a week and you're only losing one pound a week and you're going to start to feel frustrated by that, don't. You're still losing one pound a week. That may cut the time it takes you or that may double the time it takes you to actually hit your goals, but guess what? 
you're still going to hit your goal. And that's kind of the mindset that I, I really kind of want, you know, to be in place here is that, you know, even if we set goals, we're going to miss our mark, um, especially at the beginning. You know, you can miss your mark a lot, but it's that consistency. It's that repetition that is going to allow you to get to a point where if you wake up and you don't work out, then you're going to your day is going to be thrown off. Whereas now you may wake up and it may be difficult for you to work out or eating healthy or spending more time with your kids or wh whatever it is that you're trying to work on. There will eventually come a point where it's actually easier for you to make the beneficial change than it might be now. And we all struggle with it there's nothing it's it's just how we are and especially with today's society um you know unfortunately everybody has this mentality of now 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 you know the latest game system came out i need it first the latest the new graphics card came out i need it first i see a new magazine talking about oh you know get this you know all this crazy weight loss and you need it now and what happens is our brain, we start to tell ourselves that we need it now, but that's not reality. And, and we need to be a little bit more rooted in, in reality that we're going to slip up. The vast majority of people don't have a personal chef who can tailor make every meal to your exact macros, your exact micros. It just doesn't exist for the average person. So... Just kind of, you know, take a step back, ease your mind, and start implementing these incremental changes. And like I said, I'm going to be posting some, some clips of mine from, you know, credit card payment I made, just showing that interest-bearing portion that I'm paying and, and kind of talking about it. Um, my weight loss board that I've got here and kind of how I've got it laid out and what I'm looking for. Um, the picture of my daughter with her cast on. And she was pretty excited because she got to pick the color and they sprinkled glitter all over the cast and she loves it. Um, to marital health stuff. And, you know, also your mental health stuff. And um, just kind of the things that I've done just the first couple days so far of 2021 that can set me up to live 2021 in a better manner than I maybe would have had I not been doing these things. And I hope you guys can take something away from this. Um, if you like this content, hit the like button. Subscribe. Um, you know, in any comments, you know, let me know what you guys are doing, what changes you're making. And, and if you have questions, you know, we can help each other out along the way. Um, as I grow, I'm going to be very active on this channel. If you have questions, ask them. Um, if you have comments, tips, tricks that I could learn from, let me know and I will try them out as well. It really doesn't take much guys. Using your body weight as resistance, no joke. shape you can get you know when I was in the army I could probably do this all day long and uh, I've only been out now almost five years and it's sad to see how far I've let myself go don't let that be you it's easier to stay in shape than to get out of shape and have to get back into shape
hey what's up guys just getting my running in um we're at about eight minutes so far done about three quarters of a mile got about 20 minutes to go i'll touch base with you guys when i finish all right what is up guys um so I didn't hit the goal that I wanted to hit today, um, but that's okay because I hit about 20 minutes on the treadmill, 1.5 miles, and 170 calories burned. Couple that with my time on the total gym and my calorie deficit for the day, I'm going to take it as a good day even though I didn't hit my goal encourage you guys to do the same. If you set a goal for yourself, yeah, you're striving to hit that goal, but we're always gonna fall short. And kind of keep this as an example. You got up, decided to push yourself, to better yourself, to work out to begin with. And even though I came up 10 minutes short, on my goal still a victory and I hope you guys view it that way too take care All right, guys, and then what we've got here, kind of finish this off, is just kind of some of the additional things that I did. So in terms of, uh, you know, working to better myself financially, um, I'm listening to Richest Man in Babylon, and I've also been reading the book Think and Grow Rich. I recommend both. Um, for In terms of my mental health, um, I attended church uh, Sunday night. Um, it's always always good. Always helps better that mood and and uh, you know just kind of make you feel better. Um, in terms of marital health, uh, I put away all the Christmas decorations, which my wife had been wanting me to do the last couple days. And in terms of uh, my kiddos, um, played soccer and card games with them, and then. Uh, I fixed my oldest one, or I fixed my youngest one's bike, my middle one's bike, and then my oldest one actually with her own money just bought herself a brand new bike and I'm gonna be putting that together here as soon as this video is done. Uh, with that, um, you know, like I mentioned before, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, be getting new content every couple days, and uh, take care.